Welcome to City College. I'm Miss Selena C here. I'm your chemistry teacher. Well, some of you may think that chemistry is difficult and it's not fun to play with. But my question to you is, what exactly is chemistry? Well, it's a subject that you learn how things are made and how they interact with each other. Just like you, we are all made uniquely and we interact differently with our friends, family and environment. So today, if you have a mindset that thinks that you are, you are a failure, you're going to change it here. In this new environment, I believe that you will have a positive mindset and chemistry will be fun to you. Let's start with a very important topic in chemistry, acid and alkaline. I have with me here three basic acids that you can find in the lab. Uh, we have hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Now, all acid basically taste sour. You can use universal indicator or a litmus paper to test it. So I have with me here universal indicator. It looks green because um, when it's neutral, it's supposed to be green. If I react it with acid, it turns red. If blue litmus paper touches hydrochloric acid, it turns red. Now, a very important chemical reaction for acid is when acid react with metal carbonate. So, what I have with me here is copper carbonate. It's green in color. Now, when acid plus metal carbonate, you will have carbon dioxide, salt, and water produced. When carbon dioxide react with lime water, which is calcium hydroxide, you will see a white PPT form. I have with me here copper carbonate reacting with an acid. You will see bubbles forming because acid carbon dioxide is giving off. When carbon dioxide react with lime water, you will see that the lime water gives a white precipitate. Now, another very important chemical reaction of acid is when acid reacts with metal. Acid plus metal will give you hydrogen gas and salt. Now, to test for the presence of hydrogen gas, you can use a lighter splint. I have with me here hydrochloric acid and I have with me here a magnesium strip. When magnesium strip reacts with hydrochloric acid, bubbles are evolved and that's your hydrogen gas. This is a lighter spin. A pop sound is heard. I have with me here another very important reaction of alkaline. When alkaline react with ammonium salt, ammonia gas will be evolved. And ammonia gas can be tested with a red litmus paper. It will cause a damp red litmus paper to turn blue. I have with me here sodium hydroxide, which I already placed inside this test tube. And I have with me here ammonium chloride. Now, I react a little bit of ammonium chloride with sodium hydroxide. And that will cause the red litmus paper to turn blue. Now, another very important reaction of acid is when acid react with alkaline. Now, acid react with alkaline, you will have with us salt and water. Now, this is a titration process and it's also a neutralization process. Now, you can see over here in this spirit, I've already filled it with hydrochloric acid and I've also filled up, um, I've used, also used a uh, pad to draw 25 ml of sodium hydroxide and place it in the conical flask. So now I'm going to start my titration process. I allow drops of acid to react with the sodium hydroxide. I will stop titration when I see the entire solution becoming green in color. Well, 
Learning chemistry is not so difficult after all, right? You just need to keep practicing it. Repeat the step again until you understand it. So, have some fun. Don't give up. Leave a comment.